A rough day at the beach in Dania Beach as windy conditions bring with it high waves, strong currents and beach erosion. A cool front is what's to blame for the high winds and the persisting gusts are not letting up. In Bal Harbor, surfers are taking advantage of the waves. However, there are safety concerns for those surfers and anyone headed to the beach over the next couple of days. We've been waiting for it all week. We like saw it coming and we just knew it was going to be waves. So, why why are you waiting for it all week? So we can surf. There's barely any surf over here. So, I mean, lots of wind brings lots of surf. So. Chopper 4 hovering above John U. Lloyd State Park, where high tides are causing seawater to break down beach coastlines as well. For regular swimmers, I wouldn't recommend going out there. It's way too windy, a lot of rip currents, it's just way too choppy, and there's a lot of jellyfish too out there in the water right now. Our Windjammer resort camera over Lauderdale by the sea also capturing images of rough surf. These rough conditions are expected to stick around for the rest of the week. However, they are expected to start winding down as the week progresses. But until then, you should try to avoid the beach if you can. In Dania Beach, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News. And you can track weather where you are any time of day. Download the CBS Miami weather app to your iPhone or Android. You can find it in the iTunes Store or the Google Play Store.